Welcome back. In this recording, we're going to continue refactoring for chapter 14, also assignment 9. And we want to look at the user query that we have here. And again, the whole purpose of our refactoring is that we are removing code from the main page that we just wanted to basically display the results from the query. So first, uh, where to put this uh, query? Again, doesn't exactly belong here, but we do need it. So over in assignment nine, I'm going to create a new file under my databases folder and let's call that one queries.php. And this is where you can put all your queries for the other exercises, not just this one. And we can just simply go back to raises and let's just cut this and we're gonna make a function for it. So we'll cut it and what kind of, we should give this a good name, what we're going to do with it. And this basically this query is that it's the hourly wage that is less than $10. And it accepts no arguments. And as always, we're gonna need our curly braces. Now we need it to return back to the main program. So we're gonna give it a return statement. And then we're gonna tidy this up a little bit and tuck it in. That looks good. Missing our semicolon there. Now let's go back to raises. We have to call that, right? So we need another include statement for include queries.php. So if you hear some background noise, it's pandemic time, the whole family's home. So we just got to roll with that. And we will. In raises, we are going to need to include that file. And that's in database and queries. We'll save that. Then we also need to call the file. So I'm going to get the exact name by copying and pasting. It's returning a value, so we're going to store this in a variable called user query. I'll save that and run that. Okay, so that works, and let's take a look at that code one more time. So we've got the function, and there's no arguments. It's just a string, a couple different ways you could write it, and we're returning the user query back to raises. Now we've got this here. We can now run the result. If you want to take it one step further, uh, we could replace user query with this function and put this function inside our uh, parameter list. So let's do that. A little mistake there. There we go. Let's uh, run that just to test that it works. And there we go. So that tidies up the code pretty nicely. Now you don't have to do that last spot putting the function in here um, to pass the argument, but it works nicely. What to do next? Let's wrap this one up here and then we'll talk about an initialization file on our next screencast.